Have you ever worked hours or even days tweaking a spreadsheet to perfection, and upon revisiting it sometime later, you had forgotten how the formulas in your masterpiece worked? Or perhaps you're in a company where people work together on a spreadsheet, but constantly have to stop and ask others what the formulas mean. In this tech tip, I show you how to add comments to your formulas so you or anyone sharing a spreadsheet can see in plain English what the formula does and how it works. So I have this spreadsheet I've created to help my wife and I pay off our credit cards. It contains formulas that calculate how much a lump sum payment would reduce our finance charges and our monthly minimum. I'd like to add a comment that explains what the formula does and how it works. To do that, we will use something called the in function. In both Google Sheets and Microsoft Excel, the in function converts an argument to a number. For example, a date is converted to a serial number, which is useful for calculations between dates. A Boolean value, such as true or false, is converted to one or zero. In the case of text, the in function always returns the value as zero, and that property allows us to add text to a formula without affecting its result. So to use the in function, I can first start by selecting my formula and adding the in function by typing the plus sign and in, and you'll see that the in function appears. And then we will add an open parenthesis. And because I'm adding text, I'm going to do an open quote and I can type my note will go here. And we can just hit enter and you will see that the value did not change from the previously held value of 108.14. It is still after adding the in function 108.14. But when I click on it, you will see that it says my note here. And if we click in the formula field here next to the cell, you will see that my common is there. Now, what I'd like to do is put something there that's a little bit more descript. So I'm going to select this and I'm just going to paste this in just to save time. So what we see here is that the in function allows us to add a comment that's several lines in length. And as a tip, you can add carriage returns to make that comment neater. So you would do that by placing your cursor where you would like the line to return. And you can hold down control and press enter to make it return to the next line. And by using this technique, you've not only added comments that clarify what the formula does and how it does it, but you've also made it easy to read so that it can be easily understood by anyone who may view it later. This quick tech tip was provided by technojudo.com. If this information was useful, please help us help more people by clicking the thumbs up icon and hitting the subscription below. You may also send your questions or how to requests to questions at technojudo.com and, and it may be featured during our next tech tip video. Thank you for watching.